Hello everyone and welcome back to another video by me. This is Chris Ike. I'm going to be showing off some of the new features and blocks in the new uh, snapshot for the Nether update as well as answering some questions and uh, yeah, let's just go straight into it. Uh, so according to the new snapshot, there's a lot of new blocks in this update. Uh, I haven't really explored the Nether uh, as much as I should, uh, but for the new update, when the nether update hot hits the Minecraft server, the Octavian server, we're going to be deleting a lot of old chunks and making space for new chunks that will generate this new stuff. Of course you have the new stuff, the barked uh, grass, as you can call it. Uh, you also have nether sprouts, warp roots, all this stuff, and the new warped stem. Uh, which is really interesting because now you can make. Let's just see if I can get a crafting table up here. You can now make planks out of it. As you can see, you get warped planks. That's very interesting. Uh, now I think there are two new planks added. Yes. You have the crimson planks and the warped planks. So it's basically. Bluish green planks and what it would like, uh, like a sort of uh, very bright red planks. Uh, so, with this also comes a ton of new, uh, for example, slabs, you got stairs, fence gates, trapdoors, even a door and signs, which is very interesting. Uh, this one looks, reminds me a lot of Terraria actually. I do like this this door and this design. I feel like the door doesn't stand out that much though. But it's okay, for sure. And the trapdoor is quite simple. It looks a bit like a, like some kind of steel or metal barriers. Can be used as grates in the floor. It's very interesting. I like this. Uh, you also have the warped. Uh, versions, which is uh, let's see, there's a door. So the door for this one is slightly like it's growing vines on it. That is interesting. The planks don't have vines, but the door has vines. Uh, and the trap door is it's it's the same, just slightly more damaged. It would seem like. Oh no. Uh. <coughs> So that is interesting. I like new planks. The other thing I noticed today was that, let's see, you have the dark blocks. I found them here somewhere. Then it's going off in the background. You also have salt, of course. Kind of a okay-ish block. I'm not really too fond of it, but it, it might with some use. Uh, it this looks like like normal logs, just black, you know, and uh, <coughs> so looked, I know there was a new ones, uh, you also chiseled nether bricks, cracked nether bricks, now these are interesting, very nice, I like, I like the ones with these sort of um, paintings in them, it gives more interest to them, but like, of course, this is um, this is due to my nether nether um, texture packs uh, colors. This is the one I drew, so this one it doesn't really match. Uh, so, if I change the Royce resource pack back to the original, this should match up a lot better. So, yeah, as you can see, it's a lot a lot better now. It works uh, a lot better as that. Uh, so I can see the netherrack has changed as well, I actually didn't know that. <laughs> but there's also a new block in, which is... Let's just see if I can find that. I know I saw it here somewhere, it's like... S there you go. Blackstone. And this, this is really nice, I really like this one. 
This is like a sort of very dark version of the normal bricks, and these, I absolutely love these bricks. Uh, especially with my own texture pack. I have my own texture pack for stone bricks, and I love the design, I love how it looks. It looks very smooth, very nice. And I think these will be very, very cool. Especially for like, uh, like scary builds. Uh, haunted houses, that sort of thing. Uh, I really enjoy these ones. So, uh, Blackstone uh, also has a lot of other blocks. Let's see here. Like stairs for it. And I'm not sure what this one does. I think this is with gold in it. Sure. And I also noticed that there's a new gold ores for the nether. So that's very nice. It's nice to be able to find some proper ores, except just the uh, quartz in here. Because you've got the normal quartz, now you can also find gold. So that's very useful, very nice. Uh, no diamonds or iron or stuff like that, just for now, just another gold ore, which I'm fine with. Seems to be uh, useful, especially with the new piglins, uh, bartering with gold only. Uh, this is a lot of interesting new blocks. Let me just change back to my original resource pack here. Let's see if we can find this proper one. There we go. I think that's the end. Should probably update it. But as you can see, with my texture pack, I'm very fond of this texture in general. So I'm looking forward to doing this one, the drawing of this. It's very nice. And there's also the, of course, the Crying Obsidian, which is a very interesting block. Uh, the design is very cool, very mysterious. Uh, it also has some particle effects. I'm not sure if it has any uses yet, but it's very nice as a building block. I can see this being used in, for example, as a floor with this dark, uh, what's it called, uh, blackstone bricks. It looks very cool. It also seems to have some glowing effect to it, like it lights up a little bit. Yeah, it does. So that's very cool. Uh, let's go for a very dark place and see how much light it actually gives up. Let's see. Yeah. So, right now, there is no light, and it gives up nine. So that's actually very good. So, if you do every other, you should be able to make spawn-proof room with Crying Obsidian. Probably not the best, most like resource-worthy way of doing it, but it's nice to know. Other than that, we also have the, of course, the new vines, uh, roots, all these flowers. Very nice. Uh, I like, I like these new blocks. The pressure plates. Kind of hoping that these will have different uh, values as they have with like metal, uh, the iron uh, pressure plates. They all have different values. Oh, there's also blackstone. Very nice. This is interesting. There is also the new armor that's come and uh, see. As you can see on the sword, the sword is actually more powerful, so that's, that's nice. However, when I look at the armor, it has the same amount, so I don't think you will be getting more uh, defense other than the knockback resistance, and the armor toughness, which I believe is the resistance like to damage, as in damage to the armor itself. Um, it doesn't seem like you'll be getting more like damage resistance from it. I might be wrong on that though, but at least the sword is a bit more powerful. This one has 7 attack damage, this one has 8. Uh, and let's go for an axe, see if... Uh, let's see, where's the axe, there's the axe. So this one has 10 attack damage, and this one has 9. So it's more powerful. Uh, when it comes to another right pickaxe, it has 6 attack damage, it's 5, so it's, it's, it's a lot more powerful. When it comes to tools, 
Uh, even the speed is 6.5. So let's just... A spade, or shovel, 6.5. While a diamond one has 7. So basically, if you use this netherite shovel, you can use that as a weapon now. Because uh, they're basically the same strength. I mean, uh, power. But for sure, I'm going. At least I'm going to upgrade all of my stuff to netherite. So, I know that netherite can withstand uh, explosions. So, I am guessing that. Let's see. Just place a ton of TNT here and see if we can find some by chance. I would guess that there's some beneath the lava. I haven't heard anything yet about it not appearing above. But there's a lot of speculation that it only appears below. I did find it one a few times above in the very earlier um, snapshots, but I could that could have been a bug for all I know. And it seems to be. A bit rare as well. I think it's about as rare as diamonds go, but again, I don't know. Sure, didn't find any. My constant clicking now is. Let's see. <laughs> no luck so far. It's interesting that. They have actually added a new block or resource that is better than diamond. I'm very fond of that. Um, because I feel like diamond is sort of outdated. And we do need a sort of god armor that can be... Uh, can be... Uh, like... The, the last armor you get in-game. And I like how you have to combine diamond armor with netherite to get the proper the proper armor you need. Okay, I'm, I'm not finding shit. There's absolutely nothing there. <laughs> Let's just find an ore then. So, netherite scrap, netherite ingot, because do, 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 a lot of netherite. Ooh, I'm gonna check that out. That looks really boring, but could be used for a lot of building projects, I guess. Boo. Hello, miss. How you doing? I am streaming and making a video at the same time. Yay. Yeah. I'm doing an explanation for the new blocks in the... in the uh, nether. That's cool. Yeah, it's a lot of new cool stuff. Let's see if I can find the ore or the scrap. I'm trying to figure out where the netherite scrap or what's called is found. Hmm. I can't seem to find it. Ancient debris, that is it. That is it. So this is the one that you have to find to get netherite and get some netherite scrap. Not mistaken, mm -hmm. this only spawns below lava. So that's gonna be a pain in the ass to find, but um I thought it only spawned in a specific biome. What? I thought it spawned in a specific biome, but I haven't heard of I'm, it. I'm, but it could be I'm, I'm taking my sources with a grain of salt. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. Cause I have no idea. I've heard finding some a little bit earlier, but Seems to be missing. But it's still a snapshot, isn't it? Yeah, this is still a snapshot. Yeah, but, that um, means that it's, it's changes can happen. Yeah. But these ones, though, I really love the black stone. That is, I love this block. Mm. This one looks really nice. I'm definitely gonna try and make make something with it. Oh yeah, me too. Uh, with my normal. Um, Stone bricks. I'm going to uh, let's see. This is the one I have from my texture pack that I drew. I'm going to make those in the same design, just black. That's going to be very nice together. Nice. 
this looks really good. Mm. I think I've gotten over most of the new blocks, especially the new planks. Interesting, but I don't think I'll be using them. I mean, I don't really use green and purple planks, but could probably find a use for it. I mean, it's an, it's a nice change. Well, yeah. You can make some really great stuff with it. And then, of course, it's this little bastard, the Strider. This is probably the most useless shit I've ever <laughs> seen in I Minecraft. I mean, you can make it your friend. Well, oh no, now they're purple as well. Oh, never mind, that was just a bug. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's... It feels like it's turning purple when you put it on land. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, so it's kind of, it's like cold. It gets cold and it wants to go back into the lava. I get it. Ah. That's kind of cute. Yeah, because it's like detail. it's freezing. You can see it like shivering like it's cold. Yeah. And the moment it goes in the lava, it stops uh, shivering. I think that's a nice touch. It's kind of touch cool. Yeah. But uh yeah, it's Oh, they actually spawned over here as well. It's a little family! No, it's a big family. Yay! They make the strangest sounds. <laughs> Look at that one purple one that's in the lava. It's just, he I don't is, know what to do. He's having the time of his life. Yeah, he's standing on top of his... Oh, the right, he has actually talk, he was actually walking above the others. That is interesting, I've never seen he was that He's standing before. on top of them. <laughs> that is the first time I've seen a mob literally walk over another mob. That is very interesting. Well, to be fair, the, uh, as proven, it they can spawn with mobs on top of them. Yeah, just like this uh, zombie piglet. That's kind of weird, though. They shouldn't be spawning zombie piglins in the nether, I think. Yeah, why wouldn't they? I thought that was only when they exited the portal in the overworld. Well, piglings are the new pigmen, so it would make sense that they spawn. Oh, so they spawn with crossbows as well now. Nice. Yeah. Oh, why do they... They don't... Spawn. They probably don't like you because you're not wearing gold. Well, I'm a creative, so they shouldn't even care about me. Shh. Let's pretend. They don't seem to care about the zombified version. They just stroll right past it. No, they're j they're friends. They're buddies. They don't seem to like each other. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of true. I can relate to that. So there's. That's interesting. For sure. So you can trade with these if you have gold. Mhm. Mm that's why I've been on a mining trip as well, and I have gold. So. Oh yeah. So you can like trade with them. Yeah, they're holding gold. Interesting. I guess the annoying part is that they just give you something random back. Yeah. It's like magic. Okay, so I got 20 string. Interesting. I got magma cream and I got string. I like how they just look they, at it and go like. Mm. I believe, I believe those are the only mobs I can give you to crying obsidian. I see. It's like they're and inspecting the gold, and then it's like, okay, this is gold, so they give something back. It's very nice. Bye. This is what you get for I it. I got a chanted soul speed, and that's a new one. Yeah, I believe you can only put that on the new armor. On the boots of the new armor. So there's soul speed. One, two, and three. And there's also the... Oh, you can actually make a soul campfire. These ones, though, I, I, I really like these ones, the blue soul Yeah, fire. I'm definitely gonna make all of my lanterns into those. It's very nice. I like those. I think... I'm also kind of tempted to make a part of my base just look like the nether with the trees and all. Yeah. This my house of freak. To be fair, it would make sense with the house. <laughs> yeah. The whole look of my base. How much does this light up? This lights up... Uh, 10. 
So, it's not as bright as the normal ones, I believe. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's see here. No, they're not as bright. Uh, they get 10 and the normal one gets 15, so... But that is still, still pretty cool. They do look very nice, both of them. This one has a slightly different design as well. Slightly. So instead of just the normal, another color. Did I use all iron instead of, instead of having like wood on the sides? Yeah. Or the corners? So let's test this torch as well. How many light source blocks do we need here? This one has zero. There's only ten as well. So they do not light up as much, but uh Well that makes sense. They're they come from an area of pure darkness. Well yeah, slightly, yeah. They're still very nice. Nice to have some new blocks to play around with. Mm. Well I think I went over most of it. So That's I'm nice. gonna stop. And then I came. <laughs> There's probably a lot I missed, but Still very yeah, interesting. You, you can't go over everything. No, that would probably take a while. <laughs> and of course, just a respawn anchor. Very interesting one. I don't find a use for it, to be honest, but probably cool, probably. <laughs> it looks cool. Yeah. It'll look nice. I wonder what happens if you put it in the world. I think it blows up. That's great. I, I do believe so, yeah. You can do some awful pranks with that. <laughs> yeah, sure, like the beds. Okay, but I think that's it. I'm gonna end the at least the video here, so Aww. yeah. Looking forward to this update.